Hello. Today we're going to make church dolls. Church dolls, or sometimes called plantation dolls, were made by children for them to take to, with them to church. Churches had wood floors, um, much like in here, and um, so most of their toys that they made were made out of wood. So all of these little toys are made out of wood, wood clothespins. So they just dressed the clothespin and painted a face on the on the ball on the top um, and had all of these little dolls. Well, if you dropped one of these on the floor, it would make a lot of noise. And so you would get in trouble for playing in church if you had one of those. So they would make a church doll that if they dropped it, it didn't make any noise. So they, um, how they would do this would be that they would have a handkerchief or just a, a piece of fabric. And then in the head, they would, during the week, they would just have a little cotton ball. And, but then on the days that they would go to church, they would actually put a snack in the head. So they would put hard candy or some crackers or something in, in there so that they had a snack and a toy to take with them to church. Um, so today we are gonna make one of these. All right, so all you need to make a church doll is a piece of fabric, a piece of ribbon, a Sharpie, and then some polyfill or cotton. So there are two ways to do this. Or actually there's just there's multiple ways you can do it to where it's kind of like a ghost and do it from the middle you can do it where you just kind of fold about a third of the way down and you put the head right here in the middle um, so this is the way I'm gonna do it today and first before you do that fold it about a third of the way down and then you're gonna to wanna to draw a face. You can put hair on it or whatever if you want later, um, but I like to at least draw the face so that I kind of have a viewpoint while I'm doing it. You will tie a knot or a bow around. Make the head. like so. You can also do arms if you would like. You just tie a knot on the top two pieces, top two corners. You don't, you don't have to do this part. You can leave that part out, but it kind of gives it a little bit more dimension on the top if you do that. And then you can you can color the whole thing if you want to do different designs all over the dress or if you just want to if you want to do stripes or something. You can also add hair on the top up here. That's always a little kind of pretty if you do hair on the top. But that's all it takes.